This is how much groceries cost in Canada in 2024. Before we jump into the video, I just want to let you guys know that I'm hosting three different vegan group tours this year in Turkey, Greece, and Bali. Turkey and Greece are happening in September, and they're happening back to back, so you can actually come to both if you'd like, since they're right next to each other, and Bali is actually happening in October. These are fully planned vegan trips where we can spend a week together having fun, experiencing the local culture, eating delicious vegan food, and just having the time of our lives with like-minded people. Doesn't that sound amazing? Yes, it is. If you want to come travel with me either in Turkey, Greece, or Bali, or maybe all of the above, check out the links below to book your spots now. Guys, limited spots are available for these trips, so make sure you sign up now before they sell out. I hope to see you somewhere in the world. Now let's get into the video. Hi guys, it's Rose. Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another grocery haul. First of all, guys, please ignore the mess in the background, okay? I'm just washing my couch covers right now, so it's just kind of like a big mess, okay? But this is the reality. So I just got this big grocery delivery, and I thought I would show you guys what I got, because I think it's a pretty good representation of like a vegan grocery haul that is just kind of like mostly whole foods plant-based, okay? So I'm gonna tell you guys how much everything costs at the very end, but uh, yeah, let's just get started. Let's get started. We're gonna get started with the produce. We've got some bell peppers. I've got a trio of bell peppers here. I got three zucchinis, okay, courgettes, as some of you may call them. I got a lime, some strawberries, yum, two bananas. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of bananas, okay? Even though I should probably eat more bananas because they are affordable and they're filling and stuff, but I just like, taste-wise, it's okay. It's not like amazing, you know? I eat them for, you know, sustenance. I also have some green onions. I got apparently a lot of broccoli, okay? Like a whole thing of broccoli. There are two, four things of broccoli in here. Great, love it, love me some broccoli. I have a cucumber. Some baby carrots for snacking. I got two avocados, some uh, some grape tomatoes, a pretty big sort of thing of grape tomatoes, some cilantro, romaine lettuce, three of these, baby spinach, and a big old bag of carrots. Ooh, why is it hot? Ooh. All right, that was the fresh produce. Now moving on. What do I move on to? I got two soy milks. Okay, I wasn't gonna get two, but it was like two for something deal. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get two. And these things, like, as long as you're not opening them, they last pretty long, so, yee, I love a good deal, you know? I also have some uh, English muffins, whole wheat English muffins. Mm -hmm. We got some lasagna noodles for lasagna. I also got some quinoa. Mm -hmm. And of course, I always have to get tofu because tofu is my favorite plant-based protein, we have soft tofu, and two blocks of extra firm tofu. Now this brand is not my favorite extra firm tofu, but it's the cheapest, okay? So <laughs> I've just been having that, okay? Two blocks of extra firm tofu, some soft tofu. We also have some marinara sauce, okay? For a quick pasta moment. <sighs> what else? We also have some roasted garlic hummus. You can also make your own hummus, which is a lot cheaper. I'll link my hummus recipe down below if you guys wanna make your own hummus. You get a lot more, it's delicious, and obviously it's like healthier, but you know, I get lazy, okay? Homegirl is lazy. All right, now moving on to the canned goods, okay? I love a canned moment, canned goods. I've got four cans right here of uh, chickpeas because again, it was like four cans for like $5 or something like this. And I always just have chickpeas on hand and just like canned beans on hand because canned beans are the best, okay? It is a quick protein that you can just throw it into any meal and beans are really good for you and you just keep it in your pantry. It lasts so long, it lasts like forever. <laughs> this is like a must, okay? You must have canned beans, canned lentils, things like that in your house at all times if you're a plant-based eater. Obviously, you can also cook dry beans from scratch and that's actually cheaper and you can keep that in the fridge and in the freezer. And I used to do that all the time, but 
homegirl is lazy, okay? And this is still cheap enough for me, so we're gonna we're gonna do that, okay? So canned beans, I always stock up. I've got canned beans all over the place. Now this is my addiction, okay? This is Hearts of Palm. I got two cans of Hearts of Palm. This is a bit expensive because it's really like not filling at all. It's just something that I am absolutely addicted to that I eat all the time. And I just, you know, you know what? I've just, I've just accepted it. I think this is like $4 a can and I've just accepted the price. I'm just going to eat it. I'm going to enjoy it. It gives me joy. Okay. Hearts of Palm. If you've never tried it, try it. Let me know what you think. We also have some uh, corn, canned corn. Okay. Lovely. Whew. And I also have some roasted seaweed, okay? These are packets of roasted seaweed. This is something that Koreans always have at all times, okay? We keep packets of roasted seaweed. Each packet has like, you know, a few things of roasted seaweed. You can eat it with rice. You can throw it into whatever meal. It's so good. And I've been eating this since I was a kid, okay? There's multiple different brands of roasted seaweed you could find. This is just the one that I found. It's delicious. Oh, it's so good. All right, now last but not least, the frozen items, okay? Frozen items are a must. So this is something I don't normally get, but I thought I'd try it because I'm like, girl, if I have a sweet tooth, this might be a good little treat. I have this fruit lollipop bars. I've got these frozen fruit bars. This is mango flavored and it's only 50 calories per bar. I feel like this would be a good sweet treat to eat you know, as a dessert, simple, easy. You could keep it in the freezer. So I don't know, I'm gonna try it. It's probably gonna be delicious. Only 50 calories a bar, so good. Next, I have some frozen mango chunks. I wanted to make maybe some mango smoothies or something. Frozen fruit is great. Frozen fruit is awesome. So I always like to have some sort of a frozen fruit in the freezer at all times. Mango it is. Next is frozen mixed vegetables. Once again, frozen veggies are also like a must. I always like to have some kind of frozen veggie in my freezer because it's so convenient. And especially for someone that travels a lot, which is me, I don't always have like fresh veggies, okay? Especially when I'm like back from my travels. And like when I'm back from my travels, I wanna eat veggies, I wanna eat healthy. So I wanna have some frozen veggies on hand. And last but definitely not least, I've got some edamame beans. If you know, you know. This stuff, guys, I have it always in my freezer at all times. This is so convenient. It's basically already cooked beans and it's like soybeans. It's so good. If you've never tried edamame, like what have you been doing with your life? Keep it in the freezer, toss it into literally anything, add some protein. It's delicious. I eat it on its own with a little bit of salt. It's so good, okay? It's such a quick high protein snack, high protein thing to add to every meal. Delicious, okay? Okay, all right guys, that was the grocery haul. Can you guess how much all of this cost? Well, leave your guesses down below. I'm about to tell you, okay? But if you wanna comment, you can comment below. So before any like delivery fees, any other fees, tips, all that stuff, just the groceries alone is, let's see here, $116.25 Canadian, which is, in US dollars, because Canadian dollar is crap, in US dollars, that is $85.37 US. Okay, so $116 Canadian. I think that's like not bad, to be honest with you. I got a lot of stuff. And, you know, especially in today's day and age, you know, everything costs a million dollars. So I feel like I got a lot of stuff for like a relatively decent price. Like this is gonna last me a while okay especially all of the other you know non fridge items so yeah let me know what you guys think do you think i got a good deal i kind of want to like go back to my old grocery haul videos uh from like i don't know five six seven years ago because i've been doing them for a while and i want to like compare just to see oh my god you know what i should do oh <gasps> this could be a video idea let me know if you want to see this i should go into one of my old videos my old grocery hauls and just like buy everything that's on that and see how much it costs in today's day and age. Okay, let me know. Uh, I remember when I used to live in the UK, the groceries were so cheap, okay? So I can't really replicate that. When I got back into Canada, which was in like 2016 or 2017, 2016, I still did some grocery hauls. So I kind of want to compare. That would be a great video idea. Okay, but obviously I have to eat through this first because you know. Anyways, let me know if you want to see that. Um, I will link my grocery haul playlist down below so you can watch my previous grocery haul videos if you guys are interested. 
And yeah, leave me a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!